The Better Cotton initiative is sowing a seed, not to produce a different kind of cotton, but a different kind of farmer. One who through BCI's six production principles preserves the soil, conserves water, protects the environment and promotes decent work. Water. It's a vital resource that's getting scarcer, so BCI is helping farmers reduce consumption. BCI has teamed up with implementing partners like Worldwide Fund for Nature and Solidaridad to show farmers on the ground how simple measures such as drip irrigation or alternative furrow irrigation can drastically change the amount of water consumed. There are many simple irrigation systems. They can completely save at least 50% of the water consumed by the uh, cotton. Basically, it's like uh, alternative irrig furrow irrigation, where you need not to irrigate every furrow, but you can skip one furrow so that you can at least save 50% of the irrigation with a simple change in the practices. Pesticide use is another area in which BCI is improving practice. Too many farmers overuse or apply pesticides incorrectly with insufficient precautions, negatively affecting themselves and the environment. While what you're seeing here is a simulation to illustrate common practice, if this farmer were using real pesticides, BCI would require protective clothing. Thanks to BCI, farmers are seeing that pest control needn't always come from a bottle. For instance, corn acts as a sort of sacrifice to insects that would otherwise feast on crops, while the service sunflowers provide is to attract carnivorous insects that feed on harmful bugs. We have some concern for the nature as well. So in order to have this, we show our concern. We want to reduce the pesticide usage level as well as the water consumption level also. Cotton's had a mixed history in terms of labour, and it's not unknown for its production to be associated with forced or child labour. Decent work is another BCI production principle. So while BCI cotton farmer Padayamakan Raja's children are happy to help out with chores such as looking after the cow, they don't work in the fields. Their father believes his kids have a right to go to school rather than having to give up their youth tethered to working on the farm. Pariyamakan told me that he has two sons studying for a Bachelor of Science in Chemistry and a daughter in secondary school. He considers himself lucky that his children are able to have an education. <laughs> Getting farmers to subscribe to the BCI's production principles takes regular contact. BCI trainers visit villages and organise farmers into learning groups, where the focus is on training and self-assessment. The hope is that farmers will embrace BCI's aims en masse and make them part of the community's shared activities and goals. The neighbouring farmers, farmers will support the uh, other farmers, BC for member farmers, uh, to support that uh, agriculture oriented activities. This Troops Act features advice on cotton farming. There's a lot to sing about because BCI farmers are financially better off as they spend less on pesticides, fertilisers and water. Also, though previously obliged to sell their crop through sometimes unscrupulous middlemen, BCI farmers have begun to form associations that buy their cotton and sell it on to the cotton processors or ginners.
ఉదాహరణగా ఇప్పుడు మా ఆవిడ ఇక ఏదో ఇట్లా మనకు అమ్మ అంటే అమ్మిన మంచోడే మా ఆవిడ మా వాళ్ళ మనవాడు ఉన్నాడు కదా శ్రీకాంత్ మా మనవాడు తాతయ్య అమ్మ నష్టం పడదు అన్న వాళ్ళ ఇలా అటు ఒకటనే ఇటు ఇచ్చినాను అంతే నష్టం లేదు ఇక ఇవాడు వాళ్ళకి After the market, the cotton arrives at the gin where the fibre is separated from the seed. BCI farmers have been taught to reduce contamination, so the ginner has improved quality cotton to sell onto the spinner to make yarn. The ginner knows his market and the emerging sensitivities to the environment, pollution, water scarcity and labour issues. Yes, the market is really sensitive to this sort of stuff. It gives an advantage from a business point of view also. because this is something different what we are doing from the conventional cotton and we can guarantee them that this is a better cotton with uh, low contamination levels this adds a business advantage for us better cotton is taking a vital product and making it more sustainable it's helping farming communities become more educated more profitable more resilient better cotton is about more than a better product it's about making the industry better better for the farmer the environment and ultimately for the industry's future as well